Today we travel to Würzburg on the first stop of our series, Germany's Romantic Road. Before we get started though, I'd like to ask for your support. And you can support us by hitting that subscribe button right down there. You can also share with your friends, like our videos, and leave some comments down below. Now, we're going to get packed up and ready to go. Today we're in the romantic city of Würzburg, founded in the 5th century. It may be hard to believe, but in 1945, about 90% of the city was destroyed and firebombing in only 17 minutes. All of the city's churches, cathedrals, and other monuments were heavily damaged or destroyed. The city center, which mostly dated from the medieval times, was totally destroyed in a firestorm where 5,000 people perished. The old main bridge, started in the 12th century, is the city's oldest bridge, and until 1886, was the only river crossing in the city of Würzburg. The mighty fortress Marienburg is a symbol of Würzburg and served as a home of the local prince bishops for nearly five centuries. It was severely damaged in March 1945 and fully rebuilt in 1990. Today it houses two museums. A Bronze Age castle stood here on the site of the present day Marienburg Castle. Here in the market plots is the Marian Church. Behind us is the Niedermunster Church, dating back to 1065. It was heavily damaged in World War II and has since been restored. We're going to go inside and take a look. Behind us is the Würzburg Cathedral built from 1040 onwards and is likely the third church that was built here. The previous two around 787 and 855 were destroyed uh, by, by fire. This is dedicated to St. Killian. It is the seat of the Bishop of Würzburg and has served as the burial place for the Prince Bishops of Würzburg for hundreds of years. It is the fourth largest Romanesque church building in Germany and a masterpiece of German architecture from the Salian period. The cathedral was heavily damaged in 1945, but has been rebuilt post-World War II. Let's go inside and have a look what's in there. Let's go.
Behind me is Würzburg residence. The Prince Bishops of Würzburg resided in the Marienburg Fortress until the early 18th century. The court was moved to a palace here. But the rather small palace did not, in the Prince Bishop's opinion, measure up to this position of an absolute monarch. He was looking for something comparable to the Palace of Versailles. Having won 600,000 florins in a court case, he used the funds to undertake a building project that would proclaim his political standing to all. And as with so many other buildings, it was completely destroyed in the bombings of 1945. From 1945 to 1987, this building was completely reconstructed inside and out at the cost of 20 million euros. Well, we made it home in good time. We did a lot of walking today, almost seven miles. So do me a favor, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications because we're going to be going for part two next week. Until then, Auf Wiedersehen.